that's where KXAN's Alyssa Gord is tonight. Alyssa, we've seen tributes really pouring in from all across the country. Jennifer, we're already seeing people beginning to place items in tribute to James White's memory here. Take a look. There are some flowers posted up against the wheel on the fence here and on them a patch from the Continental Club, another well-known and loved music venue here in Austin. That just goes to show how loved and respected the Broken Spoke and James White are among Austin's music community and Austin's music venue community. If you've never had the pleasure of going to the Broken Spoke, White and his family members were the heart of that operation. I spoke with White's family today and they tell me he'd been sick for about two months and died of congestive heart failure. They tell me White wanted to build a place like no other where people could come and have a good time and listen to country music. After he built this honky tonk, he named it the Broken Spoke. And among those publicly sharing their grief over White's loss is Ray Benson of Asleep at the Wheel. Benson tells me he first got a gig playing at the Broken Spoke in 1973 and was friends with White ever since. In a tweet today, he noted White made him feel like family. We'll have more of Benson's tribute to his friend tonight on KXAN at 10. And James White's family also told me for all those who might be looking to help them out during this time, they said the best thing that you can do is to continue to support the Broken Spoke and continue to head down and visit the honky tonk that James White loved so much. Reporting live at the Broken Spoke, I'm Alyssa Gord, KXAN News.